What's up guys? Today we got Wingstop for dinners. All right, I got lemon pepper, Cajun, Wingstop. Yeah. What do you got, Let's Kevin? Here, lemon I pepper. Also got, I also got lemon pepper and, and I went with original hot. Original, original, original hot. Fries, yeah, yeah. ranch, everything. Yeah. All right, let's do it. You ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Nah, nah, that's it, that's it. That's all you get to eat right now. Huh. One stroke of scissors, shoot. Oh baby. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won, bro. <laughs> huh. No. What's up guys? Welcome back to episode, I wanna say episode five of Unordinary. I might be wrong, don't kill me for it. Uh, today, I'm with a very special friend. So I've got Anthony coming on the show, I got Lynn coming on the show, and those are two of my best friends you know, from high school. And today, we got the last one. Say hi to Kevin. Kevin, please introduce yourself. Hey, what's up guys? My name's uh, Kevin. I am a high school friend of Quang. We went to Pope John together in Everett. You know, like, a, like you said, you know, we're very all close friends, yep. we're best friends, you know, we always, you know, try to make time for each other, even if we don't see each other too, too often, you know. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I love Quang to death, man. And we, you know, <laughs> Why are you glazing me like what that? Do you mean? What Let's do you tell mean? them your occupation, bro. Let's uh, tell them your uh, occupation. Uh, uh, yo, yo, all right, check it, check it. <laughs> what the freak is this guy glazing? Occupation. Start? Occupation. I tell everybody that I'm a financial analyst because uh -huh. I work for at an asset management firm in Boston. Okay. And I got promoted about five, six months ago. Okay. So I work in investments now. Sounds. So I do I do a lot of like client reporting and analysis, and I send out a lot of data to a lot of clients that All our right. company works with. That's so what's that's, up. That's basically what I do. Yeah. All right, let's get straight into it. You know what it is? Three uh. quick questions, freestyle, but you know, always honest and authentic. Spin the wheel, Kevin. Spin the wheel. What is it? Uh, <laughs> it's romance. Uh, romance is cool. Romance is cool. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm not, not worried. worried. Really, truly, Since I'm not. Kevin is you know, single right now, my, my um, romance question would just be, what would be your ideal first date? Ideal first date? Ideal first date for you. For, for me? Yeah, for you. Yeah. Honestly, I like, I like going out for breakfast. Going out for so, breakfast? Like, so so br okay. brunch. Brunch on a Sunday. Okay, like brunch on a maybe specifically in Boston because you know you walk around mm. after, right after. So you think like Newbury Street? Yeah, Newbury Street. So for the viewers know, that Bay, don't Copley, know, yeah. uh, Newbury Street is just like a very um, popular, I want to say, commercialized street in Boston. There's a lot of shops. There's a lot of stores you can visit. Mm -hmm. um, the view is nice because you know there's always people walking around. You people watch. I'm assuming that's what you're gonna do at, in the, uh, during brunch. Yeah, exactly. Just, like, got, eat. Yeah, you got stuff to talk about. You know, you're seeing other people walk by. You know what they're wearing. You know what to talk about. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. So that's like the ideal first date. Yeah. So that's how you're trying to like get to know the girl. A anything else after the brunch, like activity-wise, like do you prefer having an activity or do you just prefer like a chill, quiet place to talk? Chill, quiet place you okay. know, to talk. You know. Like after brunch, you know, walk around get the commons. Into the frame, Kevin. Get oh, my bad, yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. Like after brunch, just walk around the commons, you know, around or just around Boston. If it's, if it's, a, it's a nice day out, you know. Like why wouldn't you want to be outside, you know? Of course. Um. So, yeah, some, something low key like that. Uh, in terms of activities, I don't want to like overwhelm anybody, you know, like right off the bat. That's true. You know, okay. so that, that's why I, I would avoid activities just for the first time around. Okay. Yeah. You don't think that like a, a shock factor, like <laughs> I don't know, if you go ice skate and she falls and shit, and you can like showcase your skills. Yo, like, no, you don't know. You're not yo, about that. I, the problem is I can't ice skate. So I'm, I'm, not, she, I'm gonna say in general, like maybe take it to something you're nice at. Oh, something you know that I'm nice I mean? at. Yeah, yo, like maybe right, like right. Nathan Buster, because I know you're uh -huh. good at basketball. What yeah, if you yeah. start shooting like yeah, you yeah. know mad, you know mad yeah. hoops? Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good that's a good idea. But like for me, I think face to face interaction low key is like most important. You don't want to, you know, have somebody meet you like by by the just like you know being competitive. Okay. You know, fair. for the first meeting. You know. Okay. I, okay. You know? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kevin. That's yeah. a really good first start. Yeah, yeah. All right. Second question. Here we go. Let's see. What we got? What do we got? Is that like the black, a, the black one? The black one. The black one says career. Oh, career. perfect. Career, okay. All right, so, you know, Kevin talked about career for a little bit there, but the question would be, if money wasn't a thing, 
what would you be prefer doing? Like, what would you really get excited for every day? Yeah. To you know, work or to do? I think I, I like growing up, I always wanted to be like a professional athlete. So a basketball player would be great. Uh, I'm not that tall, but you know, maybe a professional soccer player would be would probably be more be more fitting okay. to my to like my size and like my speed. Do you do you have like any? Do you kind of like ever like break it down why you want to be like a professional athlete? Is it like you know? the spotlight being on you or mm -hmm. like the pressure or you think it's like the dedication that you have to put in in order to be like a professional athlete i think it's the dedication you know that you that you, that you put in to become to become great mm -hmm. you know and also you're going up against other people who will also push you to your limits and even enhance what you're capable of doing okay you know because yeah, like, of that, course like, it, like, like i'm not a professional athlete now of course but like in general like okay. throughout life i i've always tried to learn from people who are more intelligent than me more intelligent than me and who know more than me you know i'm not i've never been that the kind of person to you know think that i'm above beyond like learning this or, or yeah. that you know so mm -hmm. if there's any way that people can push me and become better like always strive for the greatness yeah, yeah. Right? but also always... like being a professional athlete i feel like it would just be fun you're just doing something that you enjoy you love is yeah, that, yeah. like, like yeah out? you might you, you might get like break your ankle like one year or two but you know <laughs> it's cool it's cool it's cool you, you get know, paid you, doing it yeah. you know play you sports something you love okay right i yeah. see it yeah next question here we go yeah all right, let's see. Okay, a slow spin, I like that. Time. Time, ooh, time is a good one. So, if you were to be able to go to the past to change anything, would you change, what would be like the thing that you change? It could, this could be like, you know, we woke up late for an interview, or it could just be like, mm -hmm. or maybe you just wanna relive something. Yeah. I think I would go back to specifically. Come in, come in, come in, yeah. brother. <laughs> I would go back in time. I would say fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like fifth grade is is a very delicate time in, in most people's lives. Okay. You know, uh, your confidence, your self esteem, it's very important. I, I got into like a little sledding accident back in fifth grade. That I, 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 I like got a little, a little scar on my face. You did? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, obviously, I didn't know you were still in high school. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, okay. um, but basically, like every year, like after that year, you know, I, I was basically it killed your confidence. It, it killed my confidence, Damn. you know, and you know, I was very self conscious for like, you know, this like the remainder of like my high school career, basically. Damn, that's you know, crazy. even even middle school, elementary school, whatever. You know, I, you know, you know, people would like look at me, and you know, my, with my the scar. You know, my, my parents, you know, they they. They try Obviously, to, no parents gonna. Yeah. They try to treat it with like you know Asian remedies, like yeah. you know apricot and carrot, all and that. I'm just like. Yeah. And it's not working, but it's all about mental, right? But obviously, we it, were it, it, too it, young. Back it really then. is all about mental. I feel like yeah. if you can get a hold of you know your mentality and kind of just build a good foundation for it, I think that will set you up on yeah. a path for so like, you success. So you like go back to the past and tell yourself like it's, it's whatever. Like no one would care, right? Now right, if right. you think about it, like yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I mean, kids back then could be cruel. Kids yeah, back yeah, then, no, I mean, mean, most kids are demons. Yeah, yeah, they're, but, most kids are demons, and but, you know they're you ruthless. Do? Yeah, there's a. But I would I would target you know fifth grade as the time that I would go back in time to basically get a hold of like my self esteem and my confidence and just basically you know if if possible prevent you know the sledding accident oh okay. or you or know just basically just coach happen? myself into into just into overcome self confidence yeah just overcoming you know the insecurities that I, I had when I was younger about my like my facial appearance and everything like yeah, that man. yeah man but hey man tough times lead you to really strong foundation now I feel like yeah right? for like, sure. Now, like, you know, we know how we look like. You know, you know, we're average, medium, average, whatever it is. <laughs> I think we just got to work with what we got. And yeah, like, really this, is, this, is, this is it. This is it. Like, that is all we got. This man. is all we got. Like, like, this is like, it. like, we're not getting taller. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that ship has sailed, like, 18 years old. <laughs> age, bro. Like, dude, whatever we're at, we're just 27 now. Oh, man, dude. Uh, <laughs> hey, at least we didn't peak in high school, though. We did oh, not for sure. peak in high I, school. I, yeah, for sure. I, I feel like none of us peaked in high school, which yeah. is... You know, I, everyone I, has turned out great. Yeah, everybody turned out really, really great. Um, I hate hearing that that that, that phrase. Like what? Pe people saying that you think that they, they think that you peaked in high school. Uh, you know, I mean that's like a biggest insult, right? It, like, it is. Yeah, it like, is. It's like, but, but like, what do they know? Like, they don't know. They don't know your entire story. You uh, know? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. You mm -hmm. know, it's always been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming to the show, mm -hmm. Unordinary. Mm -hmm. All right. Any last words you want to say to the audience? Yeah. You know, if you need help. Go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, yeah. If you need help, go to therapy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Yo, it smells like gas. Hold on. Slop on the cob. Corn hub. <laughs> 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 but I'm...